Well, good day everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Quebec Garage. Uh, I'm here today at the uh, Brickspo in Moose Jaw at the Western Development Museum. And I want to do a bit of a walk around here and uh, maybe an interview with one or two of the uh, participants. So uh, as you can see, there's uh, lots of Lego here. I don't know if I'm going to make this a one or two part video. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to try to keep it down to one part, uh, maybe no longer than half an hour. But I'll get the camera turned around and uh, we'll give you guys a look at the uh, Brickspo here at the WDM. So we're going to have a little bit of background noise here, but uh, again, I'll start here. And uh, this is the town display. And feel free to uh, pause the video anytime you want here to have a look at some of the some of the builds. Wainwright Hotel, that would be uh, Alberta probably. Again, feel free to pause the uh, video. Uh, anybody knows about this uh, red paper clip here in uh, Saskatchewan? This is in Kipling and the guy started off with this red paper clip. He traded it all the way up for a house. Now we'll get swung around here. Again, I'll try to give you the best views of everything here that I can. Again, it's hard to tell which side of the table I should be on, but uh, I should be on the other side of the table for this here. As you know, uh, I build Lego also, so uh, I always like to come and have a look at this. Most of this stuff is not kits, this is all uh, done with their imaginations. Lots of people here today. Oh, I'll get to zoom in here. You guys can see this is uh, Alcatraz. I visited this place, uh, not as a captor. So again, uh, this is labeled art. So these are art exhibits here. Peacock. Very cool. Uh, you can look at some of these uh, murals that are done in Lego. There's the photograph it was taken from. We've got some uh, shadow boxes going on here. Now we'll swing over here, see what we've got for some more artwork.
portrait. You can see it way better here. <laughs> There's a quilt, and it looks like we've got a portrait studio going on here. I guess you can take like a... That's very cool. Just like a half step to your... Painting. More Lego this way. Well, this is the uh, challenge here. I think there are different themes they build build two and then they compete here. We've got somebody that's built a big brick separator. Oh, you got the Arkham pieces. Yep. I have two sets. I want to get a free So uh, this is the collaboration. collaboration. So this will be a bunch of builders that got together and uh, built uh, each part of this theme here. So they all, all would have been given some sort of task or building to build and then they would have come together here and put them all together in a collaboration. I'm just trying to work around the crowds here if I can. Very cool. Uh, so everything has a theme. So this is Dark Ages. So. We've got a trail here of uh, falcons on the move, it says. <coughs> we got a very cool castle going on here, or citadel they're calling it. Well done. <laughs> Neat bridge. Viking boat, temple, and uh, at the end here we have a clock tower. Very cool. So this theme over here is pop culture. We've got a this is uh, Han Solo in carbonate. Very cool. We'll give you a rundown of this table. Pop culture, a Star Wars theme here going on. Again, these would be all stuff that people would have built um, without uh, kits. These are. Uh, Kits you can't buy. Very neat. Totally, yeah, it's a really special piece. There you go. There you have your This Star Wars Battlefront here. See if I can spin around here and. Another cool build. And here, here we have Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Portrait of Mr. Rogers. Really neat what you can do with Lego dots. Oh, well, we got some red shoes here going on. Some of the guys are still setting up here. Minds of Motion, this one's called. So the theme on this one is uh, Aladdin. And they got a flying carpet going on here. 
I'll give you an aerial view of this. Well, it's a desert. Now, which way do you want to go? Do you want to go back where it should be, or do you want to keep going this way? There's a flying carpet with a couple of riders, and camels here at a oasis. Very cool. So this table looks like it's a table of uh, miscellaneous builds. Again, this is stuff that uh, you can't buy in stores per se as a kit. Now there could be some kits incorporated in some of these builds, but uh, most of this stuff is um, all made up of uh, Lego that uh, they got out of kits or bought the separate bricks and made this stuff all on their own. Uh, I do have the Lego chess set and uh, this is a little bit bigger than the regular chess set. That looks kind of cool. So they're calling this uh, space and sci-fi. Yeah, it's amazing what uh, goes into some of these builds and uh, people's imagination. Classic space buggy. Uh, looks like a sci-fi uh, mining operation. Again, this will have motors and stuff in it to do this, all pre-programmed. Very cool. You can watch that work there a little bit. And we have a space station here. There's a ton of Lego in this. Tons of hours go into building something like this, plus an imagination. So, you know, Lego just isn't, like I said, just kits that you buy off the shelf. These people spend a lot of time doing this. So the theme we have here is transportation. We've got the uh, General Lee, Red River cart, a low rider with a tra uh, on a transport with a truck. And we'll uh, swing around here. We've got some more transportation here. We've got some uh, trains going on. Another shadow box. This engine's built in BNSF colors, Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Uh, this would be a uh, Batmobile collection. And the theme of this one is uh, modern ages. We've got some uh, older hotels here. So uh, modern ages, I think anything can fall into that. Somebody's made a stuka here. And a Sherman tank. And they say that's Thomas the tank. Yep, let your imagination run wild. You can make almost anything out of Lego. So this one here is called Imaginary Worlds. 
So anything goes here, we looks like we have a uh, floating diner, airport. Like I said, you can let your imagination run wild uh, when it comes to building Lego. Anything goes. They look uh, so realistic. Again, I have to work around the crowds a little bit here. It's good to see it busy. This one's labeled the keep. There'll be a few uh, hours into that build for sure. And as all of them there are. I swing past the crowds here, which is good. Again, you can let your imagination run wild and build just about anything you want. Lego makes just about any type of brick for any type of curve or shape. Steampunk creepy creatures. So this theme here is out of the box. So the return used to be just as big as the wheel. Again, it's uh but it was it took Again, let your imagination run wild. A, a whole wall of shadow boxes. Easy bake oven, microwave. Participants are building away or working on their stuff to get it ready for display. There's a Sega machine. Again, this is stuff that uh, you can't buy in a kit. You've actually got to use your imagination and buy the Lego to, uh, to build it. Very cool. So they're calling this one the big wheel. And it uh, Looks like there's marbles that start at the bottom, get picked up through a series of wheels, and then drop back down to the bottom again. Again, let your imagination run wild. I would assume that this would have taken a very long time to construct. If I can get back here, you can have a better look at it. Very cool. And they call this theme uh, Wacky Races. There's uh, Lego hidden all over the WDM this weekend. Very cool. So this room's awful crowded. And uh, what is in this room is the uh, brick sale. So everything in here is for sale and uh, has a price. Again, I won't spend much time in here, but uh, if you're looking for an oddball or a rare kit or just some pieces, uh, you may find it in here. A lot of this stuff has um, been retired and out of production. It's uh, super crowded in here, so this Bricksdale Park gets uh, bigger and bigger every year. Tons of people in here looking to find that uh, kit that uh, is no longer in production or some piece that's uh, hard to find. Uh, this gentleman here is selling mini figs, and some of those mini figs can go for a lot of money. So uh, that's it for the brick sale in here. Again, huge. Just look at the amount of people in here. 
trying to get that odd part of that kit that uh, has been retired or they can't find or they want it in their collection. I have too much in my collection now. I don't need to add any more. But uh, yeah, lots of people in here looking to get that deal. So here we have the events area. So uh, it looks like it might be a speed build on a certain kit. So it looks like they've um, they've all got the same kit and they have to build build this thing as fast as they can and have no spare parts left over except what's kind of extra in the kit. All Lego kits come with a few extra pieces. So, uh, and not every one of these might be the same. But it will be a speed build here. Again, we've got a judge here timing them. So that's the uh, speed build here in the event center here at the uh, Brickspool. So here's the uh, welcome to uh, Brick Spoon if you want to join Slug, Saskatchewan Lego Users Group that's called. We've got some scan me codes here. Then we've got the Deja Vu restaurant here in town. Somebody's made a nice uh, portrait of it. So you guys can pause the video here if you want to get any information on joining Slug. So everyone, that's the uh, Brickspo tour here at the WDM. I figured I would do the uh, outro here outside of the uh, museum. It's uh, awful crowded in there and uh, noisy. So again, um, this was the uh, tour of the Brickspo uh, 2024 at the Western Development Museum in Moose Jaw. Again, I want to thank everyone for watching and remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye now.